Good morning, everyone. Okay, we'll continue our book reading today on advanced selling strategy by Brian Tracy. We are done with chapter 9, where he taught us how to make powerful presentation. Today, we are going to start from chapter 10, which says closing the sales, the end game of selling. Closing the sales, the end game of selling. Selling is one of the toughest jobs in the world. There are no buffers between you and the reality of daily difficulties. Delays and disappointments. You often ride an emotional roller coaster up and down that never seems to stop. You are all alone. Like a front line, like a front line soldier, you must get yourself up every day and go out to where the bullet of rejection flies. You must continually deal with the possibility that all your sales efforts could turn out to be in vain, through no fault of your own. And you must keep on going in spite of this because your profession of selling requires it. Selling is hard. It always has to be. It always has been. Sorry. And it always will be, even for the best and most experienced salespeople. It is a continual effort. You can make it easier by developing your skills in the critical areas of prospecting, presenting, and closing sales. But you can never make sales, you can never make selling an easy profession. <clears throat> However, once you accept that selling is a hard way to make a living, it becomes a little easier. When you stop expecting it to be something other than it is, much of the stress goes out of it. As William James said, the first step in dealing with any difficulty is to be willing to have it so. Selling is also a wonderful profession. It offers opportunity for the average person that are unimaginably in most countries. Your potential earnings are beyond what 95% of the world's population could ever hope for or expect. You can eventually become financially independent. 5% of self-made millionaires in America are salespeople who did their job extremely well. Here is a question. If you, walk, if you walked at McDonald's behind the counter and a customer came up to you on the other side, what would be your probability of making a sale? 